Hi, my name's Gavin Collery, and I've been asked to join you today as Ian Howarth, who's usually in this chair, is on a long-term sabbatical. We wish him well. I'm here today with Kath Norman, the Managing Director of FAR Limited, and we're going to focus on FAR's offshore prospects, the Gambia, in Western Africa. Kath, FAR Limited has announced details of two-phase process to evaluate potential of the A2 and A5 blocks offshore, the Gambia. There was an internal geotechnical evaluation, followed by an independent review or audit of the potential resources. What was the outcome of that process? Oh, Gavin, so the outcome of the process is that we have a net uh, nearly a billion barrels of oil potential in our two blocks offshore Gambia to FAR. In fact, um, following the risk audit of FAR's evaluation of the potential, we've confirmed or released that we have on a 100% basis best estimate, which is a P50, um, unrisked uh, basis, we have 1.1 billion barrels of potential in the Gambia. We've always suspected that um, our acreage down there was going to be highly prospective because it is contiguous with our acreage in Senegal. And of course, we've now drilled 11 wells offshore Senegal, eight on the same trend that extends down into the Gambia. And in fact, eight into very much the same reservoirs that will be our primary reservoirs in the Gambia. This is hugely exciting for us. And of course, we have 80% of the project at the moment. Can you provide some insight and detail of the potential prize offshore the Gambia? Oh yes, of course. So the Gambia sits in what we know now to be the very prolific Mauritania, Senegal, Guinea-Bissau Basin or MSGB Basin. Um, to the north, of course, on the border of Senegal and Mauritania, BP and Cosmos have made huge gas discoveries. Uh, to the south of the Dakar Peninsula, our joint venture operated by CAN, in which we have 15%, now has the terrific ore field of uh, SNE and other discoveries that we've made during the course of this year and, and through the discovery of SNE. And then to the south is the Gambia. Not to forget the fact that we've also got acreage in Guinea-Bissau, but that's, that's for a later date. Um, in the Gambia, um, as I said earlier, it is the extension of the SNE play. And we've mapped two prospects from very high quality 3D seismic called Samo and Bambo. Um, some of our shareholders may be interested that Samo is actually Mandinka for elephant and Bambo for crocodile. Um, two terrific names, I think in particular Samo is very appropriate for the size of feature that we'll be drilling next year. So it's 825 million barrels on a 100% basis on its own and that will be the prospect that we drill next year um, towards the end of the year I suspect. What about Bambo? Uh, Bambo is 333 million barrels on a P50 basis. Uh, the two of them sit side by side. Bambo is actually sitting above the Samo prospect and whether we can drill both prospects with one well, I, I doubt. Uh, we'll be focused on exploring the potential of Samo next year as a priority. You have a whopping 80% interest in these Gambia prospects. Do you plan to retain that level or farm down? And when do you plan to begin the drilling program? Yes, 80% is a whopping equity and we're very fortunate to have it and very pleased with our 80% by the way. Drilling costs in that part of the world have been substantially reduced in gross cost and we expect we'll be able to drill um, a discovery well or an exploration well for between 30 to 40 million US dollars and we're refining those numbers now. It's always best practice and prudent to bring a partner in when you've got a large equity position both to uh, ratify your technical evaluation but also to share the costs of course and we've had a lot of interest expressed in coming and joining us and we'll be um, making our minds up as to how we go about proceeding with a partner in the coming weeks. Uh, however we are getting drill ready in the Gambia and we've opened an office recently. When we got government approval for our farm in back in August this year we immediately set to uh, getting drill ready and making sure that operations were underway and there would be uh, no slippage to, in time-wise for us to get drilling by late 2018. So we've ordered all the long lead items, the wellhead pipe, etc. We've commenced the process of submitting the environmental impact assessment. We've undergone safety training and um, ABC training in country. 
we've hired uh, five staff, uh, local Gambians in country, and opened an office as well, which happens to be in the same building as the Ministry and the Government's office, so it makes for very good communications. So we're very much on target for drilling in late 2018 on the Samu Prospect. One final question, Kath. We now have a combined prospective resource offshore the Gambia of 1.1 billion barrels. A similar evaluation and audit process has been underway for the SNE oil field offshore Senegal. When might we see a new set of numbers for SNE? That's a good question. Um, as you know, the latest numbers that we've released um, from our risk audit for, were from August 2016, post the drilling program then. And our current 2C number for the size of the SNE oil field is 641 million barrels. Subsequent to that, of course, this year, we've drilled five wells and completed the appraisal of the SNE oil field. Uh, four of those wells were drilled on the shelf in the SNE prospect area and also to appraise SNE. So we are due for an update to the contingent resources. There's been a lot of data coming in post the drilling program and we need to integrate all of that data to get um, a definitive answer out for our view of the contingent resources and I'm hoping that will come out soon. Risk by Nature is also an independent audit so in some respects we need to wait for them to complete the process but it is an iterative process so as data comes in uh, we evaluate that, pass it to risk for audit. I think um, one point I'd like to make is that whilst uh, the SNE oil field is huge and it's now 350 square kilometres in footprint and 641 million barrels. We're really hoping that this next audit will do as most audits do when you're completing the appraisal or completing the understanding of an oil field. You tend to um, uh, focus in on the 2C. So your 1C number will come up, your 3C number will come down, and you get more and more confidence around your 2C. Saying that, I expect that we'll be able to increase that 2C number in this current audit. And a closing comment on the Gambia in respect of SNE. They're very close. Oh, they are very close. So, uh, as you know, we're pretty excited about the Gambia. It's great having control and operatorship over the Gambian acreage. And we feel that the prospect, Samo in particular, has the potential to dwarf what we have in SNE across the border. And I guess only time will tell. Time will tell. Thank you, Kath. Thank you, Gavin.